Hey, what's up everybody? Today we are going to talk about the Beast of the Mesozoic Ceratopsin series. Wave 2, Pachyrhinosaurus. Lacustae. Lacustae. Really amazing. Oh my gosh. Mind blowing. Very huge. There's my face right there <laughs> and my water bottle. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's so big. I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cannot wait to take this dinosaur out of the packaging. I love the packaging though too as well. See right here. There's a little, little ceratops and footprint over here. You have the name Pachyrhinosaurus lacustae. I don't think I'm saying that right, but oh man. Oh my gosh, look at these colors. Whoa, blowing my mind. This is uh, Beast of the Mesozoic. Uh, you've got the shiny, shininess with the light on that right there. Oh, so amazing. Oh, okay, let's turn this around. Here on the back of the box, you can see this says, Pachyrhinosaurus means thick-nosed lizard. Look at that snouts. Oh my gosh. Look at that big bony plate on the, the nose right there. Oh goodness. Uh, here is the length and you've got information on the location and the time period. The art by Roll Ramos. Oh wow. Collectible card inside. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now I'm going to take this sleeve off and when I do, you'll be able to see the rest of the wave two checklist. Before I do that, here is the side of the packaging. 118th scale dinosaur action figures, 20 points of articulation, realistic movement and detail. And the profile card, of course, I just mentioned is included. Um, and then you see an 18 right there. Oh my goodness. 18 stands for the 18 right there. Pachyrhinosaurus. You can check it off your, off your checklist. This is number 18, of course, um, from the, uh, wave two. Oh my, wow. Okay. So we're going to, you tell I'm really excited here, huh? So we are going to flip the box over you've got your upc right there oh my goodness here is information from the people that collaborated on this project specifically david silva now i'm going to pull off this sleeve right here so you can see what the back of the box looks like and it's entirely and and it yeah. I can't, I can't say that right. So carefully, you want to start to pull that sleeve off of the box. Oh yeah, it's still taped on there. All right, one more. No, no, no. I thought there was another one holding it on. There's something. Oh, it's my stupidity. Now, we are definitely saving this for all time. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, striking, man. The reason why I bought this creature, teal is like my favorite color. Look at that. Woo! Hello! Man! Now we are going to flip the box around. And behold, before your eyes, as you gaze upon this beast of the Mesozoic Ceratopsin series, wave two checklist, each sold separately. You've got the Windy Ceratops. You've got the Spilicopteus. You've got the Spilicopteus. Man, I need to work on my pronunciations. Spilicopteus, Spilicopteus, whatever. Centrosaurus, the Eniosaurus, the Cosmoceratops, Pachyrhinosaurus, Aviceratops, and the 
Regaloceratops. Man, I gotta work on this. So you've got the Ceratopsins Wave 2 checklist. Fully articulated action figures, collectible profile card, color display backdrop. That's not the least of it. There's a color display backdrop in there. And then right here, we've got number 11 all the way through 18 of these other dinosaur action figures here in the Wave 2 checklist. Um, amazing, huh? Gulped it off of real living creatures that really walked the earth. So, I'm kind of weird. I think I'll probably open it from the back. Oh, broke the seal. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we are digging in here carefully, ever so carefully. Nice flat back like this. <gasps> the collector card. Oh my goodness, look at that tree. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I'm pulling it out. Oh my gosh, look at the tail right there. Woo! Hello. Hello, beautiful. Okay. I'm going to pull that backdrop out here in a second. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Wow. Big bang for your buck, huh? Big, big. Bada boom. Big bang for your buck. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That is amazing. Okay. So now I'm going to take this off. Careful. Careful. So I'll leave this tape on there. Pull that off. Oh, wow. So right here you have this. I've cut this open. First of all, you have this is the Ceratopsin tail assembly. You're gonna need some hot water or a hair dryer to help attach the tail to the ball joint of the figure. Let's see. Hello, Star Wars fans, do not use the force. Oh pulling this out. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I love how they uh Got those little scales in the picture like that. Like the like it's like 3D printed or something. Whoa my goodness. Beast of the Mesozoic. I think he's like walking through the uh the forest there. Man. These beautiful plants all around it and trees. Ah, so bold. Oh I love it. I love those colors. And then on the back. Number 18, of course, up here, Beast of the Mesozoic Ceratopsin series, Pachyrhinosaurus, Lacustae, Lacustae, Thick Nosed Lizard. Yeah, I know I said that wrong, probably. Uh, you guys can correct me, I guess, and tell me how I'm really supposed to say it, or maybe I'll figure it out. Length that tells about uh, how long this creature was, the location of where it was found. The time period and who it was named by and and that the art is by Roll Ramos I already mentioned that and creativebees.com so pull the backdrop out little stream creek going down here with uh, water running down on those rocks down into here into like a creek well it is a creek the whole thing is like a creek and it's coming down and you've got like this big giant tree right here and another tree and we've got some smaller trees in the background different species of of uh trees put this back go like this some of these look on the back you can see i can save some of these twisty ties i mean i really like having something to bag up my potato chips with you know twist and um do the twist. I know I'm doing it the hard way. I could just snip it with some scissors, but ah, forget this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do it the hard way or the the easy way. You don't want some serious paint rub. Then you carefully do it this way. 
Also, you can see that the tail is fastened in the feet. So I'm going to carefully remove those. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna carefully move the foot forward. And then I stick in this here. It looks like I'm cutting the leg, but I am not, I assure you. Snip. Oh yeah. Oh, snip. Ooh. Look at that on the bottom. <whistles> Beautiful. There's inside. Again, it looks like I'm hurting it. I assure you I'm not. Snip. Remember what the instructions said to do. We may have to do it or we will resort to pure muscle. Pure muscle. Before, before we attempt this, I want to show you this back here. This is the ball joint. And uh, looks like someone wrote PHI in there. PHI. Fi! Pi! I don't know, something. Mm -hmm. Let's chill. Some hot water. Slip that puppy in there, like that. 17, 18, 19, 20. That ought to do it. Okay guys, we are back. Oh my gosh, I stuck it in a hot cup of water. Warm water, really warm water. I did it for 20 seconds and that was not enough. I stuck it in there for like another 20 seconds. That was not enough. I stuck it in there for like another 15 seconds and I just used all the muscle in the world until I felt like I don't want to do this anymore. And I got it on there and it's not coming off ever again, hopefully. So I got the tail on there. Oh my goodness, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done in life. I do not want to take it off. I think it's on there. Pretty sure it's on there. Look at this amazing creature right before our eyes. Let's dig in and really look at this thing. It's so long. I'm The tail is literally touching the backdrop back there. You know? Now this is the shiny light shining off the paint. It's not paint wear, it's the shiny light. Oh, look at that, whoops. See, it's got a really long tail. This thing is massive. Okay, and you're looking into the eyes of this creature. It's also got a little bit of, look at that, there's still some paint from when they made it. <laughs> some places that you're gonna wipe that off there, yeah. Oh, wow. Oop, it's on my hand. Wow. And now the whole reason why I wanted to buy this particular dinosaur for the most part is like this beautiful like blue or teal type colors so uh, they're just amazing and the other reason why i really wanted this creature this really blunt faced nose right here this giant weapon on the packy rhino's nose and look down there you can see the nostril and look at all these and look how the this look at this on the frill I, uh, wow and see they're different they're not the same they're sculpted and and these i remember the movie um dinosaur remember disney's dinosaur and remember like the other walking with dinosaurs uh movies that came out like the animated one and they had a packy rhinosaurus in those movies and that just really brought the love to uh of this creature to me by seeing it first there and now here um Wow. Now it's going to take some time to, uh, for this creature's mouth to want to open more properly. It's just not opening that far because I just now opened it 
it needs some time to, uh, wow, look at that yellow in there, you know, to, re to really adjust. Now I'm gonna try to get a flashlight here. I'm gonna try. Okay. You look up in there and you can see that there are some teeth visible in that giant mouth. We could open it some more, you can see more, but then there's that articulating tongue in there. It actually does articulate um, once it's uh, been used to being moved. You know, you can really get that to move once you can get this jaw moving more. Um, so this, this rotates, it rotates. This uh, looks up or down, not that much, maybe more later on, but the articulation, you know, this creature has to have some time. And a little bit of side to side movement, a little bit, you know, but um, it has to sit for a while so the parts become more bendy. You've got some articulation right there. See that? That's working. And then this. And then you've got these feet and the toes. Like that. Also this. Also this can move forward a little bit and back. Posability. The back legs. Okay. This can move swivel and then there's a tail which I dare not touch because well okay I can but man that was a bear to get that on there okay so it can go down a little bit up a little bit I wouldn't do too much side to side but you want to be careful because you don't want to mess up the uh, the paint and give it paint rub problems then you can uh, move the torso a little bit there's little osteoderms all over all over this body. Strong, very muscular scales. Look at all these sculpted scales. Look at it's like a teal color underneath on the belly on the ventral. It's coming up like this. Goes all the way back through the tail. And then all the way back up uh, under the arms, the front legs. All the way under the neck, under the mouth. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You can see how that was on there. This is rubbery. Very, very well, all of it is rubbery for the most part. Um, there is a definite line here, but from far away, it's not really noticeable. It's just part of the makeup of this dinosaur action figure. Um, flip it over like this. Get a, a good view from up top of it, of the frill. And you get like the neck here and then moving into the body, all the way down the hips and to the tail. Looking at it from the very front. Ooh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at look at look at it. Uh, focus on that frill, too. I want to focus on this. This is like my favorite part. One of my favorite parts. Now, looking underneath this creature, you can see it says Created Beast Studio 2021. 2021, yeah. That's this year. On the, there you go. There's the foot pads underneath. They even put a hole for like if you pop this into uh, some sort of peg on a base. So yeah, this this creature is just astoundingly beautiful. The colors are amazingly perfect. But it weighs as much as a old handy cam video camera if you've ever used those made by Sony. There's the um, collector card again. Here it is next to the Dino Riders Edmontonia. Here it is next to John Hammond holding snakes. Here it is next to 3.75 inch Admiral Akbar with a funky hat on. 
Here it is next to Tyrannosaurus Escape Pack. Little Timmy from Jurassic Park. Here it is next to a Mandalorian. Here it is next to another 3.75 inch Star Wars figure. Here it is next to the 3.75 inch Droid Dika. Here it is next to a 3.75 inch Wampa. Here it is next to a War of the Worlds tripod from the movie 2005. Here it is next to a Star Wars Titanium Series diecast TIE Fighter. Here it is next to a micro machine. Here it is next to a Tesla Cybertruck. Here it is next to a Mattel Jurassic Dinosaur Concavenator painted by Andy Harner from, from Andy's Dinosaur Reviews on YouTube. Here it is next to a Resaurus Dinosaur. And here it is with two more of Andy Harner's. Nasuta Ceratops. So it's big, it's bold, and it's recommended. Pachy Rhinosaurus. So this is Stormy Cloud 21. Thank you for watching this review, my review on the Pachy Rhinosaurus. La Custa. La Custa. Ah. La Custa. La Custa. Hey. La Custa. Ah. From the Beast of the Mesozoic Ceratopsians line wave two please remember to hit that like and subscribe button to see more cool stuff coming up soon have a good night y'all talk soon